Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to be taking a look at Ryan Blaney's Talladega 164 scale from 2020 from NASCAR Thenix. Now, before you ask, why is this already out of the package? I thought you take it out of the package on me. I this is because I have to remake this video because the one on YouTube, nobody's getting sound out of it, so I do apologize. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remake it without the package and everything. So yeah, so this is gonna be a remake. I did take down the old video. So it's gone, so I'm I, I'm gonna go, but I will put this new one I'm making now up on YouTube. So yeah, here we go. Let's get into it. You probably, I'm sure you guys know what the packaging's like by now. So yeah, there's no concerns. So yeah, first let's take a look at the card you get with it. Geico 500, Ryan Blaney, Geico 500 winner, Talladega, June 22nd, 2020, Talladega winner. And on the back you got the date of the race, June 22nd, 2020, time of race, 3 hours, 20 minutes. 27 minutes, 20 seconds. He started 12th. 191 laps for an overtime because of the overtime finish. Number of ca cautions were 8 for 33 laps. Laps led by Blaney was 63 and victory is 0 0.07. So yeah, there's that. Now let's take a look at the car. Let's do a 360 of the car. This is the only way you can get one of the Menards paint schemes so far. To get the Sylvina car is this race win. That's why I got it. All right. Let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have True View, True Wave Technology by Sylvina Natural Light for a natural living. You got Pennzoil for Mustang number 12. Down the side here, you have Menards. Down here, you got Canal Fresh from One Hair, Savina, Dex Imaging, and Advanced Auto Parts. And down here, you got Ford, PPG Discount Tires, and Morak. On the back here, you got Sean Floors, Menards. Up on the roof, you have Maytai, Kittles, Libin, Jack Lights, Cardale, Moe, and Addis, Outless. Savina, Duracell, and Trinket. And down this side, you got the same stuff as usual. And here is the Mustang nose, if you want to take a look at that. And here's the underside of the car, if you want to see that. So, yeah. Now, let's get down to damage. We'll start here on the hood. As you guys can see, you can, you can see a little chip here, probably from probably a little bit of damage on the Mustang, where he was, like, pushing people, because this was a super speedway race. And... Down the side here, you have not really much damage. Looks pretty clean, except for that little scuff here above the wheel. And on the back here, you got damage probably down here from where other people are pushing him. Down this side, yeah, you got you've got some damage from where he was probably beaten, banging with Eric Jones and Eric Armour and John Newcheck and Stenhouse and all those guys at the line to win this race. So. Not much damage. I mean, you can't really see damage, especially on the front here on the hood and down here because it's black. So, yeah. Now, as you guys may recall, if you guys can just hold on a second. You guys may remember back in when I when I first started doing diecast reviews, this was like one of my first First, this is like one of the first three videos for diecast reviews. I have, you guys may recall, I bought the 124 scale of this win as well. So you guys can see, it's got more details than the 64. I mean, it's got more details. It's the big car. So yeah, as you guys may recall, I did buy the big scale of this car. Yeah, so you see, the big scale has, you could probably see it better on the big scale and things. It's got more detail. So yeah, here is this car next to it, and I will put the 164 next to it. So, 
yeah, so, and, so, just like I said, guys, this is a re-upload, because the video I had had no sound coming out of it, so, that's why you, that's why you didn't see me unpackage this, this time, because this is a re-upload, I did do an, I did do a video on this. This is my second time because of the sound not coming out of it. So, oh, well, I'm sure you guys are aware of what the package is like by now. So, yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.